It's time for monster fights. Long ago, this problem kicked your butt, but now you're smarter. Let's get them. Welcome yeah. to the episode of Monster Fights. No, we're not fighting like actual monsters. We're fighting problems that were like monsters for these kids. They just couldn't seem to get it right on that very first benchmark we took. However, now they're prepared. It's been a much longer time. They've been studying in school. The class is with me. Everybody say hi, class. Hi! Okay, and now we're going to get to work. Bum, 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 bum. Raise your hand any time you want to participate. Please don't call out. I'll take someone to read part A, if they don't mind. Nice and loud so we can get you on the recording. No, 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 no. no you got to read loud so we can hear you. Ready, set, and how about... Danny, read that problem. Okay. Shade the second rectangle to model a fraction equivalent to the fraction model in the first rectangle. Thank you, Danny. This first part is all about shading. And they mention the word that it starts with an E. Which E word am I talking about? Uh, Andrew! Equivalent. Equivalent. So we need to make these two <laughs> shadings the same. We got shade brother number one. We got shade brother number two. You can see that uh, that much is shaded. However, what would it take to make them look the same? What do you think? The second box. How much should we shade? Rodrigo. We should shade... Um, six boxes. Ah, very good. I was afraid Rodrigo would fall into the trap. I was afraid he'd go, oh, look, one, two, three shaded pieces. That must mean I should shade three. One, two, three. However, <coughs> does that even look like they're even? No. No. Shading is a good place to start because you can use your eyeballs and go, okay, I need to make these look even. And he was right. Four... <coughs> Five, six. That looks way more even. If you can do that in the beginning, that's one point for you. Let's move on to part B. Who can read the question? All you gotta do is read it. Part B for me. Ate it nice and loud. Complete the the the, the equation to represent the equivalent fraction shown in the models. Complete the equation. So we got some blank parts here. They only give us one piece. They give us this three right there. What does that three represent? Where did that three come from? Who knows where that three came from? Destiny. From the three fourths. From the three, ooh, you kind of spoiled it a little bit, but yes, from the three fourths. Now, Destiny said three fourths. Why did she say fourths at the end? She's right, but why does it make sense that she would say that? Damien. Because the four um, bucks. Because there's four boxes. Three are shaded, four boxes. Where does that four go then? For three fourths, it should go, tell me, like, give me directions. Tell me, Sophia. It goes in the denominator. It goes in the denominator. Fantastic. Now, our only job becomes making the equivalent fraction. Oh, what's that fraction right next door? The one we shaded ourselves. What is that? Let's start with the numerator. The numerator should be Martin. Six. And why six? Because it's because shaded six. Because six are shaded. You are correct. And what should our denominator be? Someone hasn't got a chance to talk in this video yet. Jasmine. Eight. And why eight? Because that is how many boxes there are. That's how many boxes there are, guys. We've gotten the first point, we've gotten the second point. You'd be surprised how many of you goofed this the first time. It won't happen to you again. It will not happen again. But there's still one more part left. Part C. The toughest part. It is the toughest. Who would like to read part C for me? Just read it for me. Go ahead, nice and loud so the computer can hear. Ariel! Explain how you know the fractures are equivalent. Explain how you know they're equivalent. Anybody want to give that a shot? Explain with words how you know that they're equivalent. 
Ooh, ooh. Ivan, nice and loud. If you what? And you slide a line in the middle of three fours. Oh. That's how, that's how the... Ivan's saying if you slide a line. In other words, if you made this line right here, they would be identical fractions. We gotta figure out a way to put this. So let's try to write it. Let's say um, they are the same because they are the same. Because if you, when Ivan drew this line through three-fourths, what did he do to the numbers there? There's, he didn't, he did math to it, he did. Does anybody know what math he did to the, the, to, to the numbers in there? What do you think? Israel. He times them by two. Perfect. He doubled it. He made he made everything twice as much. So they are the same because if you multiply multiply three fourths <coughs> times what did you say, Israel? Two. 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 Times two, you'll get you equal. What would it equal? Six. Six eighths. Guys, that was a problem that very few people got right the first time. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if almost everyone got it right. All right, that's all the time we have for for today for this monster fight, us versus a monster problem. Everybody say bye, class. Bye. bye.